heartbreaking moments for any child or parent. A man scoops up a little girl, then tries to run away with her, and it was all caught on camera. And that is our top story tonight at 5. A 7-year-old girl left alone for just a moment was nearly kidnapped. It happened at a Walmart store near Atlanta, Georgia. The second grader, Brittany Baxter, wasn't about to go quietly, though. She put up a fight. The would-be kidnapper dropped her and then took off. Information caught on Walmart's surveillance camera led police to the suspect, and within an hour, he was arrested. Little Brittany offers this very brave advice. Always um, scream, try to scream and kick as hard as you can, and go get somebody that you trust. Now, police here in Bakersfield say the Baxter's example can be used to teach other kids what they should do in a dangerous situation. 23 ABC's Chris Arnellis spoke to police about the tape and what can be learned from it. Chris? Well, Jackie, police say it's a scary piece of video, but it just goes to show how quickly something like this can happen. A little girl snatched in the toy section of a Georgia Walmart. The little girl's mom had stepped just a few feet away when it happened. But police say the girl knew exactly what to do. If you find yourself in a dangerous situation, you want to do anything you can to attract attention to yourself. And the fact that she didn't get up, give up, she worked herself through it. She worked all the way through, did not stop and give up. I completely commend this little girl. She did a great job. Karina Ortiz teaches child abduction prevention for the Bakersfield Police Department. She says parents can use the video from Georgia to show their kids what to do in a dangerous situation. It's absolutely an example that we can share with our kids to show people, to show children that they are able to do things to, to keep themselves safe. Ortiz says the old rule of don't talk to strangers doesn't work because a stranger could be the one to help in an emergency. Instead, she says parents should teach their kids about dangerous people and dangerous situations. An adult you do not know should not, should not be asking you for help. Ortiz says parents should play the what if game with their kids to see how their child might respond in a dangerous situation. When you're at home, if you're in the front yard with your kids, hey, what do you do if somebody pulls up and they're trying to get you to get close to their car? They're asking you a question, but they say, hey, I can't hear you, come a little closer kind of thing. That's a dangerous action. Ortiz says what the girl in Georgia did shows kids are capable of getting themselves out of danger. Our kids are listening. Our kids are able to take this information and actually utilize it. Now, your family's safety is important to us, so we put a link to other child safety tips on our website, turn to 23com In studio, Chris Ornelas, 23ABC.